Hi guys, today we're going to install this on my car. So um, let's see how this is done. It's really quite simple because the unit came pre-programmed with all these sensors on the right places. That's why it has this nice little... Uh, let's see if you can see this. Yes, front left stickers. They have one sticker on each tire. On each valve, sorry. Looks like this. Rear left, rear right, front right and front left. Don't mess up this. So wait. Don't take this out before you are in the car. I have marked mine with a felt marker. So I can see it when I come out. Get out to the car. Okay, let's take a closer look to the app. Then let's find the app. I have mine up here, down here. And this is what it looks like when you're opening it. So let's press the plus sign, take off the cover, remove this uh, tab. Everything is beeping. And then you must long press this one on the side button to make this little LED on top flashing. There we go. Flashing. Then we press proceed. Installing the in-car unit. There we go. Then everything is okay. Then we need to type in a name. I call me Vanagon. Vanagon. And then you can set the pressure for the front tire, as you see here. Mine should be around three. Like done. The rear tire, same. It's around three. Done. And you can press save. And here we go. Pressing the icon. Nothing is uh, installed. Make sure everything is uh, tightly closed. You should not see the O-ring. So, uh, yeah. Make sure there is no gap down here. Then we can go out to the car and install this because, like I told you, all is already in pre-installed from the factory. You just need to screw it on the cap and they should show up here. The only problem now is that the weather is pouring down with rain. But we will try anyway. Here we are, front right tire, just installing the cap, waiting a few seconds and uh, voila! Here we go, straight away. Let's move to the uh, rear, right. Same procedure, installing the cap. Um, before you know it, it's, oh, look at that. Fantastic, eh? <laughs> I love this kind of system that works straight out of the box. Fantastic. Now, left rear, same thing, cap on, and a few seconds, voila, amazing. Last one, left front, look at this guys, this is so good, screwing the cap on, a few seconds. And here we go, all four tires, fantastic! There you go, you see us that? Everything pre-programmed, no problem at all. Okay, now let's try the spare tire, which I have over here. Let's press the spare tire. Set the name. Here. 
and the pressure Let's put it to three create install the sensor touch the sensor with your phone let's see if this works Okay, we are too close to the car because you know senses the other sensors as well, so we have to try again. Put the phone closer to it. And here we go. Look at that guys, that is beautiful. Spare sensor too low. But it's working and then we have the main tires here and the spare tires here fantastic fubu has come up with a genius idea about anti-theft you just screw on this plastic nut all the way to the bottom and then place the valve cap all the way down and then screw the plastic nut back up again and with this genius uh, key or, or wrench you just tighten it lightly and there it go no way to get it off excellent okay guys then it's time to get uh, a deeper look onto the app if you press and hold the car for a few seconds you get some uh, Additional data, you can upload your own photo of your car. You can hide reference pressure. Reference pressure is the one that is displayed over here. Let me show you, put it back on. There you have it, and there you have it. And then you can hide tire pressure settings, top and on bottom, disappeared. I like as much information as possible, so I will leave all that on. Spare tire, main tire, long press the car, okay that's just what we just did. If you long press a sensor, you can disable it, you can rotate, you can switch with another tire. You can release the sensor if you need to sell it or something, upgrade firmware, and you can disable the sensor if it's not working anymore or something. Yep. Here you have uh, in-car unit sensitivity. The in-car unit has a, what do you call it, shock sensor or something that feels movement. So if you, for example, has an electric car, which is very, uh, which has very little vibrations, you can increase the sensitivity. I have an old diesel car, so mine is plenty on normal. Here you also can adjust the tire pressure if you like, another pressure. The Minimax will follow automatically, but you can of course adjust it to your own settings. If you touch this one again, it will go back to automatic. You see, it follows both sides. Front and rear, off-road mode. You can uh, deflate the tire with your own settings for off-road mode. Uh, down and this one, down. Then you can save this one. This is only to use when you are doing off-roading, not as a default. So let's put it back to normal. Yes, here you have the app settings. You can uh, choose whatever you like. Kilo pound, PSI. I like bar here in Europe, Norway. This I don't know what it stands for. Celsius, Fahrenheit. 
overlay services that means you get a icon which is where There you have it. This icon you can move wherever you like. And if you close the app, you just touch the icon and you get the tire pressure. Yep. If you don't like that, you can disable it. The gauge pressure is something to do with the absolute pressure minus the sea level pressure. I have not tested it out, so I don't know how it works. But I will recommend you to download the manual, which you will find here. It's a great manual to show you all the details about this. Alert, zero pressure. If the tire is inflate, uh, deflated, it will give me an alert. Keep screen on. As long as you have the app up, it will not turn off the screen. It will always stay on. Auto night mode. I think it's go dim when it's dark. Mileage tracking, track how long you are driven, and this I don't know, it's something beta you see. Device manager, it's what phone you have, you can give a feedback, if you like, terms and conditions, online guide. User manual and the FUBU website, and you can log out of this, of this, this app. That's all for the settings. That's all about the app. So, then, let me show you something. FUBU has an excellent quick start manual, but this one is not good enough if you want to know any details about the product. So. If you click the manual on on app, you get to this page, and this is a very good manual. It's a very big one. It has around 40 pages, and everything is explained in detail. I highly recommend this one. This is really good to have. So, I hope you like the product. I will provide links for the product down below. You also will get a 5% discount if you use the code. I also provide links to below in from 1st of April until the end of May. You can read more about it. I also recommend you to visit uh, FUBU's uh, YouTube sites and websites. They have excellent videos which explains in detail every steps which, are going, which I have gone through very quickly here. So if it's something that is very unclear, then you can go to this website and, and watch every video. It's very good videos. And like I told you before, the product is a premium product, very high end. I have tried some cheap Chinese one. It's not con comparable. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you soon. That's all. Bye bye.